Hey there, guys. Got a lot of questions about what I use in terms of test equipment to accurately measure the power output of blow lights. And the sensor that I've been using to date is a power or quantum sensor by Apogee. It's called the SQ500. And it's pretty much the benchmark for um, quantum sensors or power sensors in the industry. Lots of other testers and uh, professionals use them. You can see they have a really good spectral response in the power range, so highly accurate across all of the light spectrum. And also they have this domed cap, to, um, which is called a, this cosine corrected, which means it can take uh, light in at over 150 degrees arc, um, which means where there's light back bouncing around, where you have multiple light fixtures or um, you know, reflectors in terms of HPS and the light is bouncing around, it will capture all of that light and read it accurately. Now, I didn't think there was another sensor around um, which was better value than this, which is why I've been using it. Any other sensors I looked at were more expensive than this and didn't seem to be uh, more accurate. And then I got a contact from Jeff in Ontario, who I want to say thank you to. And Jeff asked me had I ever looked at the spot on power meter quantum sensor by InnoQuest, it's a US company. And I hadn't, so I got in contact with them and I asked them would, um, would they be interested in sending one over so I could review it, and they did. I was very impressed straight away. I did a few measurements of my own, so I just did some duplicate light testing with the Apogee and the, um, the spot on power meter beside each other, or, or one after the other and found them to be very, very close. I was really pleasantly surprised. So I decided to do a bit of formal testing, as I do, and uh, yeah, have the results for you now, just to demonstrate how, how accurate this guy is. In the first setup, I got the Array 8 LED. I wanted to test LED spectrum. And this has got um, basically neutral white LEDs with red spike on them. So very useful for testing for modern LED grow lights to see how the, um, the sensor performs with that spectrum. Set it up in the four by four or 120 centimeter by 120 centimeter grow area. Dropped it down to its optimum hanging height of 18 centimeters or seven inches. And I first took a, um, a range of measurements, so in a grid of eight by eight, 64 measurements in total with the Apogee SQ500 quantum sensor. And here is the power map for that test. And you can see the average power of the 64 readings was 892 micromoles uh, with an efficiency of 2.36 micromoles per watt. And the uniformity, which is the highest measurement divided by the lowest measurement, showing you how big the difference is between the top and the bottom power measurement of 1.92. That's our reference point. And next, I duplicated that test, but this time used the spot-on quantum sensor, a power meter. And as you can see, the results were pretty much exactly the same. It was only 0.01%, uh, sorry, difference between the two, almost exactly the same. So I did another test just to double check. And I thought I'd demonstrate also the benefit of using parameters or quantum sensors by adjusting grow light height and arrangement and seeing what the differences are in order to optimize them. So I raised the array 8 by 10 centimeters or 4 inches and took the set of measurements again. So I used the Apogee SQ500, as you can see here on the left first, and compared it against the spot on meters, as you can see on the right and got very, very close results again. So only 0.1% of a difference in this case. So we got a very slight reduction of about 3% in average power to 861 micromoles. And that uh, leads to an efficiency of 2.28 micromoles per watt for usable PPF per watt. So it's a very small drop in total light reaching the plant canopy but an increase in uniformity from 1.92 previously to 1.51. So getting more um, even distribution of the light for a very small drop in um, total light reaching the plant canopy. 
I wanted also to check HID because I know a lot of you guys are still going with HID. I thought it'd be a good reference point. So I got the um, 600 watt uh, digital HPS out with a um, adjust the wings medium size reflector. Again, dropped it into the four by four or 120 by 120 centimeter test area down to its optimum hanging height, which I found to be 49 centimeters or 19 inches and took again 64 measurements across the um, test area with the Apogee SQ500 to get the reference point and found the average power was 542 micromoles and a system efficiency of 1.21. Uniformity was way down at 2.97. So really interesting, first of all, just to compare with the um, LED and the HPS. Um, less wattage is much less wattage in the LED, but delivering about 40% more power to the grow area. Uh, nearly double the system efficiency and nearly half um, the uniformity are twice better. So nice result there. Then tested it again with the um, spot on power meter to compare it against the Apogee SQ500. And found once again them to be very very close only two and a half percent difference in the results so really really uh, impressive consistency there with the spot on um, power meter so impressed was I got back in touch with them and asked could uh, could I sell them and I have them now on the website they're extremely reliable robust and accurate as I said so I'm really happy to uh, to um, support them and um, to recommend them to you guys and link in the description below if you'd like to pick one up and uh, yeah it's the sensor that I will be using from now on it's um, it's really really impressive and great value for money so congratulations in a quest and uh, yeah delighted if any questions or comments please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible take care